One thing that I always admire about people is when they refuse to give up. No matter how rough stuff has been, no matter how hard this situation is, I always respect when people do not give up and they continuously keep on trying. And that's exactly who the Colts are. And, and you got to feel for the Colts, man, because they have been going through it. Like, they've drafted these quarterbacks, these, these quarterbacks that have been really good. They drafted a Peyton Manning. And then Peyton Manning, it was looking like he was going to retire with his whole neck thing, but then it, it just wasn't working out. That fizzled out. They released him. He went to the Broncos, of course, and then the, then the Colts, they were in a rough spot at the quarterback position. Um, I remember guys like Curtis Painter. Oh, it, it was sad to see. Um, but it had been rough for a while. And it took them a while to recover. But then they lost enough games to, I think the, the campaign was called Suck for Luck. And then, so they drafted Andrew Luck. And it was like, oh, yes, we got one. Made the playoffs his rookie year. And it was looking like, okay, this guy, Andrew Luck, he's getting ready to be something. Oh, we love Andrew Luck. Yeah, let's go, Andrew Luck. We did it. We got our quarterback. Then Andrew Luck, just randomly, that report drops during the preseason a couple years back, um, and Andrew Luck retired. And it was like, oh, what? So then they've had guys like Jacoby Brissett. Uh, they tried for Carson Wentz last year. It didn't work out. They tried for Phillip Rivers the previous year. It didn't work out. But now they're trying for Matt Ryan this year. And maybe this is why they ain't been spending much money uh, because they were like, all right, we, we getting a quarterback. We don't know who it is yet, but we get the quarterback. Um, it was said that they tried to speak to the Texans about Deshaun Watson, but the Texans were like, no. Like, we getting rid of this dude, but we not even going to entertain the thought of him going to y'all. So we got to deal with him twice a year. Like, it's one thing. Okay, we traded him to the AFC that's one thing. If he stayed in the conference, but for him to stay in the division, nah, nah. We ain't doing that Washington football, Donovan McNabb, Eagles type stuff. We ain't doing that. But anyway, um, so yeah, the Colts, they, they kept trying. They keep trying, and, and they are trading. They are acquiring uh, Matt Ryan for a third-round pick. So the fact that Matt Ryan is being shipped off for a third-round pick, that lets you know, and that lets me know that the Falcons were done. Now, of course... Um, this was a move that not it's not a surprise that he's getting traded because when the whole Deshaun Watson it's, it's like any team that was in the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes any team that was involved in that if they had a quarterback it was going to be very awkward if they didn't get Deshaun Watson and, and even if they did get Deshaun Watson but except for the Saints and the um and the Panthers Panthers don't have a quarterback Saints don't have a quarterback. So it would be very awkward. I mean, it wouldn't have been awkward for either one of those two teams. But you think about teams like the Falcons, who, who they even put Matt Ryan, like his roster bonus, they put that on hold. They were like, oh, we can't, uh, let's just put it off hold a couple more days and until we get this whole Deshaun Watson thing figured out. Matt Ryan, like, okay, cool. It is what it is. But you know, in the back of his mind, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm done in the ATL. It's been fun. It's been a nice little run. Um, so it was going to be awkward with the Browns. Oh, boy. <laughs> that situation is ugly. But it's the same thing. Whoever was involved with Deshaun Watson was going to be very awkward. And it would almost be a relationship that just would not be able to have been mended um, if they got Deshaun Watson. Even if they didn't get Deshaun Either way, the relationship is done. The relationship is over. Uh, so Colts, they could take advantage of that. Now they do have to inherit Matt Ryan's contract. So they take that on. And you got to feel like with his contract, if they're taking that on, then he's probably going to be around for a little while, like a couple years at least. We'll see. But um, so shout out to the Colts for, again, for trying. This is going to be Matt Ryan. This is his first time. First time. Well, not even free agency, but this is going to be his new team. He's been on the Falcons his entire career ever since 2008. Because I remember the, the top two quarterbacks, I believe, were Matt Ryan and Joe Flacco, Matt Ryan went, oh, where did he go? Not at three. I forgot what position he got drafted in. But then Joe Flacco got drafted at 18. Uh, and that was that. So Matt Ryan has done some things. He's accomplished a lot in his career. Uh, hasn't accomplished the ultimate goal. He's been there, but just hasn't got to finish. Of course, we all know the whole 28-3 story. Da, 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 da. Um, but 
it's a it's a solid quarterback for the Colts. Um and this allows them to still remain competitive, um, to still remain in in the hunt, uh, in the AFC, of course, in the AFC South, their division. Uh, and for the Falcons, what are they going to do at quarterback? I know I've been hearing some Baker Mayfield stuff. Or this, this, are you going to go from Matt Ryan to Baker Mayfield? Or you're going to draft somebody? What, what are the Falcons going to do at quarterback now? So I'm sure they got something lined up. They got something planned. Uh, what that plan is, who knows, but we'll see. So anyway, just like Matt Ryan is when it comes to being with the Falcons, I'm out.